the gospel this week, uh, and Father touched on it a bit, I want to touch on it a bit more, because Matthew chapter 16, which we read from this morning, um, is very important in the realm of Catholic apologetics. Apologetics being the science, really, of us as Catholics defending the doctrines and the truths of our faith against our brothers and sisters out there who uh, may or may not subscribe to many of the things that we hold to be true. Two important ones in this gospel specifically, Father touched on it, said, Peter, whoever sins you bind on earth are bound in heaven, and whoever sins you loose on earth are loosed in heaven, which of course is the scriptural basis of the sacrament of reconciliation. And that's where we get that from. The second one that happened is, you are Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, which we as good and faithful Catholics believe is the foundation of the papacy, that Peter became the first pope. Now, both those points are highly contested. If you have any Protestant brothers, sisters, or families, those are always good ones that come up to Thanksgiving at the dinner table with the Blessed Virgin Mary and everything else. But we have to look at the language that it was written in. Jesus spoke Aramaic. Jesus spoke Aramaic, and his apostles spoke Aramaic. Peter is Cephas in Aramaic. He said, you are Cephas, son. Cephas translates into Petros in Greek, and Petros is the masculine form of the Greek word Petra, which means rock. So in fact, what Christ said is, you are Cephas, and upon this Cephas I will build my church. He called Peter the rock upon which he was to build his church. It wasn't an analogy, it was direct. And so that's where we get apostolic succession, that's where we get the papacy and all sorts of other things. So it's a wonderful part of what we believe as Catholics.